So in this one, we have a short, quick um, definition of identity matrices. Identity matrices are basically representation of the number one or the identity um, property itself, which also is available in, um, in number theory or in algebra. Um, <clears throat> Anyway, identity matrices are basically matrices that contain a diagonal of ones, uh, all an entire diagonal of ones and zeros uh, uh, on the off diagonal entries. So a quick example. So as you can see here, this is a three by three matrix. Now of course, identity matrices are square. They have to be they, are, they have to be square matrices. So the concept of the identity matrix only applies to square matrices as opposed to zero matrices which can be matrices of any size that contain only zeros. So the square, so a square matrix that has a diagonal, as you can see here, the diagonal is all ones. None of the, all of the diagonal entries have to be one. They cannot be anything else. And the off diagonal entries, uh, the zeros that you see here, they must all be zeros. In su for such matrices, we call uh, such matrices identity matrices. Another example, Here's an example of a 4x4 four four matrix. Once again, notice the diagonal, all ones. And the off diagonals, the upper triangle here, and this low, uh, these are all zero entries. All entries are zero. So it could be also a 2x2, two two, which would be like this, and so on. These are all called identity matrices. Property of the identity matrix, just like the number one, when we, num when we multiply one by any number, we get the number itself. In other words, um, so so the similar idea applies to identity matrices. Uh, when we take any matrix A of appropriate size and multiply it by the identity matrix I, okay, I represents the identity matrix, then the, uh, this is one um, particular product that in fact is commutative. So AI is the same as IA and it is equal to A in fact. So you can take any identity matrix of appropriate size, multiply it by any matrix, and the result will be A itself. So our next topic is elementary matrices. Um, elementary matrices are um, basically matrices. It's, a, it's an identity matrix, uh, which basically, in a way, stores um, the um, a, an elementary row operation. So um, for instance, what I mean by that is, the best thing is to look at an example so for what I mean by that is, for instance, if you look at this matrix 1, 0, 0, 1, the 2 by 2 identity matrix, suppose that you wanted to perform the row operation, which is multiply the second row. So R2 is, say, minus 5 R2. So in other words, the second row is to be, the new second row is uh, to be multiplied by negative 5. So we can develop. So if I if I were to apply it to this identity matrix, it would give me on the basis of this operation, it would give me the one zero would remain the same, and this would become zero minus five. Now, this here is referred to as an elementary matrix. Okay, it's called an elementary matrix because it is in fact a, a, a rather special matrix. It is an identity matrix, which in fact, in a way, stores this row operation. And what I mean by store is that if I want to apply uh, this elementary um, row operation, this one here, on suppose this matrix, one, two, three, four, okay, all I have to do is take my elementary matrix, uh, let me call this E, let's call it E1, and multiply it from the left, uh, into this matrix A. So what I'm saying is that E1, and if this is A for instance, then E1A, the resulting matrix, which would be the product 1, 0, 0, minus 5, and 1, 2, 3, 4, the resulting matrix, if you, if you, you will see here, is that's going to give me 1 here, uh, it's going to give me 2 here, it's going to give me 0 and minus 15, and 0 and plus minus 20. So if you look at this matrix here, in fact, that comes from when this row operation is applied to this matrix, which is very interesting and uh, very interesting, in fact, is that you can take the row operation, apply it to an identity matrix, and then multiply any matrix from the left, and that particular row operation will be applied to the matrix. So let's look at another example. 
basically the rule says that basically this idea says that if um, a is an m by n matrix a is an m by n matrix okay and if um, and if we have uh, a matrix e that result so if e um, is if e is the matrix okay that results that results when a certain so we say if e is the matrix if first for instance first first if a is an n by n matrix now if e is the matrix that results when a certain row operation is performed on the identity matrix of size m which means an m by n matrix notice important to notice this m here is connected to this m here they need to be the same so in other words the number of rows of the target matrix uh, let's say a and this identity matrix must be the same so if e is the matrix that results when a single row operation okay is performed on i m then we can say that uh, then e a okay is the same as the matrix that results when uh, the operation that same row operation is performed on the matrix a okay so um, let's uh, look at this with an example so let's consider this matrix a which is a four by uh, which is a uh, sorry three by four matrix now we can if uh, the appropriate i would be in this case i3 so i3 remember is one zero 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 one zero I3 is this matrix. Let's say we wanted to get rid of this two here, okay? Which is a row operation, and using this leading uh, uh, leading one, then what that means is that the new row two would be minus two times uh, row one plus row two. That would be the operation. Now, if I take this operation and perform it on the matrix I3, then I get this. Let me call this matrix um, the uh, the uh, elementary matrix, and let me call it one E1. And let me actually perform this row operation on this matrix. So the first row remains the same. It's unchanged. The second row um, is going to become minus 2 times R1. Okay. So, so see, the second row is going to be minus 2 times R1 plus R2. So that's minus 2. This will remain 1. And this will remain unchanged, 0. And, of course, this will stay as it is, 0, 0, and 1. Now, this elementary matrix, okay, if I were to multiply E1, okay, E1A, the result, okay, should be uh, as if I perform the row operation on this matrix. So, let's see if that, hap that actually happens. So, let's multiply uh, E1 and A in this order. So, E1 times A is going to give me, the first row it's going to give me is going to be 1, 2, 4, 4. It's going to remain um, unchanged because 100 zero, zero multiplies with all of these and gives me the same result, uh, as in it's going to be 1244. Four. Then if I take the second row, minus 210, okay, this row here, and multiply it into the matrix, I will get the following. So minus 2, okay, minus 2 plus 20, so that's going to be 0 here. That's 1, by the way. Okay, and then we have minus 2, minus 4, uh, minus 4, minus 1 is 5, minus 5, so that's going to be minus 5, and then we have uh, minus 2, 4 is minus 8, plus 4 is minus 4, and plus nothing, so just 4, actually minus 4, sorry, okay, and then we have um, minus 2 times 4, minus 8, plus 2, so it's going to be minus 6, and that's it. And the last row, uh, because it's 0, 0, 1, that's just going to give me 1, 5, 5, 0. So now if you look at this resulting matrix E1A, if I were to perform this row operation on this matrix directly, the new R2 is supposed to be minus 2 times R1, minus 2 times this, plus R2. Minus 2 plus 2 is 0. Okay. So uh, minus 2 times this. Minus 2, 
minus 2 times this plus this is going to give me the 0. Then I have minus 2 times 2 minus 4 minus 1 is minus 5. Uh, minus 8 plus 4 minus 4. And minus 8 plus 2 minus 6. So this matrix, this is basically as if I performed this row operation on this entire matrix. But in fact, what I've done is I've multiplied, I've constructed this elementary matrix, multiplied it from the left, and I get this. So in this way, you can continuously multiply this one with another row operation on this side, say an E2, and perform a second row operation to get a further reduced matrix. And this way, we can actually, in fact, reduce matrices um, by taking these products uh, of elementary matrices.